Hello all. Uh, this video I'm going to be talking about installing VMware Player in Arch Linux. And there's usual some caveats uh, when trying to install this. Uh, the good news is uh, it's caught up with the latest kernel, which as of this is uh, 3.12 and a dash 5. Uh, so I'm following the wiki, and it looks like it's a fairly straightforward uh, process, although there are a couple things I want to go through. So first of all, um, I'll put the link in the description if you need it. Uh, first of all, you can download VMware Workstation as a trial, or VMware Player Plus, I guess they changed that. And there's also uh, testing. So you go to the VMware Player Plus site, and there's a Windows version, then there's two separate 32-bit and 64-bit for Linux. So I, I'm using the 64-bit uh, in this example, 191 megabytes. If you're using a 32-bit system only, uh, it's uh, 222 megabytes. So download either one, not both, just one. Okay? And uh, you have to sh uh, change the mode change mod uh, so it's um, executable and it comes as a dot bundle file so um, I have it downloaded in the downloads folder and um, I'm just going to open a terminal in here and I'll just do an ls you see here it's VMware player and the uh, version and stuff and it's 64 bit dot bundle so I'm just going to take that highlight it and then copy and then you just type in chmod plus x and then uh, easy, I guess just paste it in is easy enough and now when we do another list out ls it will be a different color you see here it's uh, ready to go so the wiki is saying to um, use this flag uh, at console and to ignore errors uh, a, dot, a dash capitalize so we can do that so first of all sudo a dot slash zoom out so I can paste that in the uh, dot bundle and then at the end of this is another space two dashes console and another space a dash capital I and press enter to begin installing. And it says you must uh, accept the uh, end user's license agreement. So press enter and you keep pressing enter or you can press Q to quit. And do you agree? You can type in yes or Y, probably would be good. There's another uh, user uh, agreement for Linux that uh, you have to agree to. So press enter. And again, Q to quit, or you can read through it if you wish. And yes, again. Would you like for check for updates on start uh, on startup? I usually select no. Uh, send anonymous? No, not right now. Uh, I, there's no license key for VMware Player, so it says you can do it later. And it says the product's ready to be installed. Press Enter to begin, or Control C to cancel. So I'm going to press Enter to install. Uh, it says ins installation was successful. Uh, if you see some errors, uh, you can ignore these uh, according to the uh, the wiki here. Um, if you get a uh, question asking you where the system uh, file would go, uh, just type in etsy slash init dot d and just the VMware, but I already have that in there. so. Um, it's already been put in, so you don't have to. But if you see that, just, just type it in, in again. It's exactly the same what it's asking for. Okay, so, if it's, so it's installed. You can uh, either run the, uh, if you have a menu, you can go to VMware Player, or you can type in the console, VMware, VM, sorry, Player. And it tells you there's a log here created okay uh, from here if you know if you used VMware player before in uh, Windows or whatever our different Linux distro uh, you know how to go
go about this. But just say, for example, we want to create a virtual machine. And I usually uh, check install the operating system later. And then hit next. And depending on what you want to install, I'm going to install Linux. Okay. And the reason this is the reason I uh, went through installing Ubuntu is to show you this error that you get. But there is a way to fix it. It's on the Arch Linux uh, forms on how to fix this. So we'll have to step through that process. And once you press OK, for, on, for me anyway, it uh, crashes basically. Okay, so here's the uh, form topic. Uh, I'll put the description if you want to read through um, the comments and stuff. I'm not really sure why we have to do this, but it does work. And the person here, thank you. Uh, the workaround is this, and he puts it in a sentence. Um, you change these um, um, entries to reflect what's in here. And the entries are in Etsy in it dot VMware, as I mentioned in the beginning. So you can read through, like I said, to maybe try to figure out why this is happening. But um, in the terminal, um, just go to your super user account and we'll uh, use a text editor. Um, I'm going to use Leafpad and it's Etsy slash init vm vmware and there's a text document you can see here there's a few things you have to obviously change uh, the first one is this vmware start vmci and then in that command there's a vmware load module you change the uh, dollar sign mod to dollar sign VMCI so we'll just uh, copy that go back to our file press control F to find you just paste that in find and there's there it is there VMware load module percent I mean dollar sign mod and it's going to be changed to what's mentioned here. So you just take this little VMCI part and where it says dollar sign mod just paste that in. Okay and then you do the same thing for the uh, next entry and finally the last one and you don't see it here so press control G and you see it here but it's not quite as obvious you have to go down to where it says VMware unload module so look for these lines here scroll down and then where it has the bracketed mod that's where you change it to this Make sure the dollar signs on on the outside of the bracket. Then you just uh, save or press Control S and then Control Q to quit. And uh, I strongly suggest you do a reboot. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to restart the computer and uh, we'll try um, loading up uh, our virtual machine again. All right. So after a reboot, it's time to. Uh, see if VMware will uh, run. Go to whatever you're installing and say play virtual machine. Ah, oh, okay. And it's another thing we have to do. So press OK and press OK and it'll close. The wiki mentions there's two ways of starting. We have to start the VMware service. Um, you can use this line and say start or whatever you want other variables or you can make a service file with this in here it's up to you so let's just take this line let's copy that open a terminal and make sure we have sudo and I'll paste that in okay and then a space and it's just the word start and it looks like everything uh, is working so you can exit the terminal 
and you can start VM player through the command line or just go back to uh, the GUI and it should be uh, up and running with just its usual uh, reminders and stuff so play virtual machine okay so obviously I can't really go full screen yet I don't have uh, the VMware tools installed but and this is live session but it is working it is VMware player uh, running on top of uh, Arch Linux and Ubuntu so there we go um, I hope this helps you out and if you're interested in VMware player um, in Arch Linux uh, it's good that uh, things have been updated so we can actually get this uh, working again okay so that's it for this one and thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you soon and bye for now